Hello, I am Sneaky Punk, uh, a glimpse of everything. So I will be discussing today all about ways how to deal with jerks, assholes or bullies at work. So have you ever worked with a person that's so nasty that you hated going to work? It's sad, but some people can spoil everything. In this ideal world, people would treat others uh, with respect, patience and kindness. So I think that's what we're meant to do as a human being. Uh, Marcus Aurelius, uh, a Roman emperor from 161 till 188, and one, uh, one of the most powerful men on earth said, it's best in a sense people are in our proper conditions. Our job is to do them good and put up with them. But in real life, things are a bit better. Most of us uh, faces bullies, backstabbers, and arsers uh, who don't respect uh, others on a daily basis. Workplace jerks are a very serious problem. They trigger anxiety, depression, uh, sleeps, sleeps problem, high blood pressures, and poor relationship with their families and partners because they bring the problems at work and they bring their emotions, they bring their feelings at work when they're getting bullied at the workplace. So I deal with the assholes at work so much, a lot in the past. So, and I, and I must be honest, there were uh, the days that I hated going to work and it's real. This is a real story. This is the fact. After uh, successfully dealing with those, uh, they call the assholes, I want to share this uh, practical strategies that uh, you can prevent a lot of stress. The first one that I can share is uh, do nothing and have a sympathy. If, 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 if I face a jerk, I always think about these things. Are they having a bad day? Do they have a relationship uh, issue? Maybe they didn't eat. Maybe they have a money problem. Or maybe they have something problem in the house. So after all those uh, play roles in our mood, look, I am not a Buddhist monk or what. I'm not a religious person, but I do believe in kindness. So if someone is not a jerk, don't be too quick to judge. Instead, we should uh, practice sympathy. And, uh, and I must say, it took me a long time to realize and still uh, I need to practice more sympathy. Uh, it's uh, nothing more than understanding others' people behavior, just an understanding basic human psychology. Well, uh, it will make you relax as a human being. So not everyone out there are evil. So some are angels and some are evils. Yeah. For example, it's okay uh, to let a bad episode slide. It doesn't uh, make you weak or a pushover. In fact, I think people who have a lot of sympathy for others are the truly strong ones. However, if uh, someone's always harassing or uh, you or others, it's a different story. When we put up with continuous uh, abuse, that's not okay. So that's uh, bring me to my next strategy. The next strategy is get the hell out. I believe in quitting. There's nothing wrong with throwing in a towel. So it's like a boxer when they see their, uh, their uh, their fighter is getting loose or getting beaten too much. So they are throwing a towel. So it means it's surrender. But make sure you can't or don't want. Uh, changes the situation first. You see the situation first. So if you have a conflict at work with your coworker, you should try to resolve the situation. Remember, we can only change so much. So if you work in an environment where office politics and backstabbing is a norm, it is unlikely you can change the culture unless you are in the senior management or you are on the top management or you are the CEO or you are the owner. So in those cases, there is nothing wrong with quitting. In fact, it's what you should do. So less damage was, it will, be, will be done, okay? If, so if you are working in an organization that has a different value than you, so leave, that's all. If you cannot uh, face the heat in the kitchen, so get out of the kitchen, it's something like that. But stay practical, believe in yourself and create a good plan. Storming into your manager's office and saying, I quit, 
you bastards only happens in movies, okay? Knowing, knowing when to quit is not uh, that complicated. Assess your situation and make decision. That's uh, what I did when I found out that I had a different personal values than the companies I worked for uh, in the past, so I got out. So my next advice is you need to fight back. Assholes or those fucking jerks at work are often very good at office politics. So no matter what you do, never try to beat an asshole or those jerks at their own game. They will always be the win and they always be, and they always play that they will be the victim. And even if you don't, and, if, and even if you do win, you don't want to become an asshole yourself. So don't be a chain reaction with assholes to assholes, okay? So make no mistakes. Doing battles with assholes is a risky business. Once they notice your effort to uh, stiff their rudeness or contempt, they can get mighty reeled up and vindicted and take it out on you. So if you decide to fight back, think about your strategy. When it comes to conflict, I, uh, I will prefer to let the other person know how you feel about the situation so you can release it out, okay? So no matter how big of an idiot someone, it is impossible to disagree with feelings. Also make sure that yeah, you always have someone else in the same room where you can confront, uh, where you can confront a jerk. Having a good support system that makes uh, or at works makes all the difference. So you can have a, some buddy buddy system at work that you can rely always on them. Okay. So no matter how perfect you are, fighting back remains difficult things, and don't have a clear cut strategy for winning. So, however, I can share a few things you should not never do. Okay. First is act on the impulses. Yes, I understand that some people piss you off, but never act uh, the first things that comes into your mind. When you encounter an asshole or a jerk at work, take a step back, step back. And then think about what to do next. Don't be carried away by your emotions, okay? Don't be carried away by your angry. Don't, don't get carried away by your high blood pressure, okay? Don't use aggressive confrontation. That's simply unprofessional, okay? Can uh, call an asshole an asshole. Is, it turns out you into an asshole as well. So don't be an asshole that, like them, okay? Get revenge. Don't get revenge. That's what bullies do. Be bigger than that, okay? Ask, ask the system for help. Often people uh, think that HR is your friend. So don't go to HR. But they are there to protect the company's interests. Okay, not your pro, not your personal interests, and I'm sure uh, HR people tell me if I'm wrong, but that's their job. Okay, so it's not it's not personal. Just don't expect them to have your back. So okay, fighting back is remains a tough thing, but the rewards are positive. No matter what the outcome is, uh, when you fight back, you say no to assholes. Okay, and that makes you feel in control of life. I believe that uh, under no circumstances, one should uh, feel like a powerless victim in life, stand up for yourself with dignity and pride, okay? So regardless of the result of, uh, of our encounters with bullies or assholes at work or these fucking jerks, if we decide to say no to them, uh, because they are not only one, it will be a group. So it, this is like a big politics. We will remain to control of our career. So this is your life, own it, we nail it, okay? So please, uh, we need to uh, stand up, we need to fight back with those, they call it the fucking bullies at work, okay? So just don't be like this, okay, these assholes. It's being an asshole, yeah? So this is all about my topic. So sometimes they are doing it because sometimes they are insecure. Sometimes they are because of their ego. Sometimes they think that they're very smart. You know, sometimes they are scared. Mostly these uh, assholes at work or these jerks or something, they are scared. Or sometimes they, they feel that they are very powerful. It's like a bird on the top of a carabao. When they stand on the top of the carabao, they think they're also a carabao. So please don't be a... Don't be thinking like a fish brain, okay? Just, yeah, we need to be professional dealing with those assholes, okay? So just, yeah, let's, life must go on. Just be happy.
Yeah, just always smile. Cheers. Because if you smile on those assholes, they will feel like, oh, then they will be more angry. That's the best. That's the best of fighting mechanism to give to them. Your sweet smile, okay? But your sweet smile, you ignore them. You, you, you must have a strong mind. You must have a strong heart. Don't just be carried away by your heart. You must always think and don't make decision when you're angry, okay? So, so long for those words. So stop being an asshole at work. So stop those punking office politics or what, okay? So that's why uh, I hope you enjoy my short sharing with you guys and yeah. Nice and lovely. The taste is there. Please stay safe uh, with this COVID situation. And yeah, life must go on. Okay. So I catch you again on my next topic on my next issue. Nice and lovely. The taste is there. Mm -hmm. Cheers. <laughs>